Happy lunch hour, gang. All right, it's mid-November. We're 10 days away from Thanksgiving, okay? Uh, depending on where you are, maybe the weather is still nice. We had that cold spell a week or so ago. Uh, and maybe unless you're up way north, up in Canada, or maybe the extreme northern United States, you haven't seen winter yet, right? Yeah, okay. Except here's the problem. This is what the outlook is for winter 23-24. And I'd say that's, what, 80% of the country that's pretty much covered by cold and snow? Now, how much? I'm not a weatherman. I'm not a meteorologist. I can't tell you, okay? But this is what Farmer's Almanac is predicting for 2023-2024. Everybody, you know, you'll hear people say, Oh, but we're in an El Nino pattern, and that means warmer. Yeah, go watch some of the true meteorologists, what they're telling you. We aren't in a normal El Nino, okay? So what's going to happen when we get into this cold weather? Well, that's where we get the alerts from the energy commissions, okay? NERC came out and said, that the grid is at an escalated uh, risk of faltering due to imminent major storms and prolonged cold snaps. Hmm. I guess they don't believe in the El Nino pattern either. Okay. The NERRC, okay, the rural one, is saying. We face looming grid reliability challenges while electricity demands continue to soar. Right? Okay. They all come out and say that we're going to have electricity problems this summer for three reasons. Okay. Severe weather events. Don't think we have to explain that to anybody. It's winter. Okay. Rising peak electricity demand. Yeah, let's see, when you take in something like 3 million extra people, illegals, yeah, you have a tendency to need to have more electricity used. Unless, of course, there's Venezuela inside of Chicago. We're going, well, if we have to stay out here, we're going back to Venezuela. Good. Nobody asked you to come in the first place. Okay. Sorry. Go back to Venezuela. You can stay warm there. Okay. Not my responsibility to keep you heated. Okay. Third, a growing dependence on natural gas. Ah, another problem, okay? So two of the three problems, we can put the direct blame on this current administration. I can't blame Joe for the weather, okay? Regardless of what we want to talk about, harp or anything like that. I, I can't go that far and blame snow on Joe, okay? Maybe Hunter and a little bit of snow, but, you know, ain't on Joe. But rising peak electricity demand, well, shit, if we didn't bring in all these damn illegals, maybe we wouldn't have a problem with the amount of people that need electricity. Growing dependence on natural gas, again, we didn't have all these people. And, oh, <clears throat> if Joe wouldn't have put a stop to fracking, we wouldn't have a problem because we've got some 800 years worth of natural gas in the ground that we can't get out because Joe's worried about the squirrels. You know, all this sort of crap. You know, now, I'll give you this. In the next 400 years, let's talk about Anwar, or the next 800 years, let's talk about natural gas. Yeah, chances are they'll figure out how to do cold fusion or something like that. We'll get free energy for all. Oh, wait a minute. We already figured something like that. It was called nuclear. We've had that since, what, the 60s? But we don't want to do that either, okay? No, we need to follow this fallacy of, <clears throat> you know, worldwide solar and worldwide wind. And as I've said to you many, many, many times, it doesn't work on a grand scale. It's an alternative on a individual scale, but it's not a reality for the most part even at that, unless you are dumping boatloads of money. And you guys saw the setup I put together <clears throat> for 17000 freaking dollars. That will power about half my house. Okay, Yeah, not exactly 
what I'd call cost efficient, but then again, all right, we'll go that way. So this is the problem we run into is what are we going to do in a cold winter? NERC says, Texas, you guys may see the same thing you saw a while back where you had people freezing to death. Have you listened to what happened last time and insulated your pipes yet? Have you done the preventative maintenance that you need to do to make sure that you don't have frozen pipes, that you have heat? Have you come up with your alternate sources of heat? Do you have firewood if you've got a fireplace or a wood stove? Do you have liquid natural gas, propane, whatever, that you'd have for, say, a propane fireplace or an LNG fireplace? Do you have a little buddy heater or something to keep you warm? You know, have you collected a few extra blankets? Have you, again, winterized your pipes? You know, now is the time to do this. The time is not when they come up and go, there's a cold front head and we're expecting two degree temperatures in Dallas. That's not the time to prepare for this, okay? It's kind of like all the people in, on the Atlantic coast who go, gee, there's a hurricane forming in the Atlantic. It's going to be here tomorrow. Maybe I should go get plywood. Not the time to do it, okay? Get ahead of the curve. It's not like you're never going to need that propane. It's not like you're never going to need that little buddy heater or whatever. If you've got it now, beat the crowd because, again, we all see the gouging that goes on when there is an imminent disaster coming, right? How many times have you said, they're selling cases of water for 40 bucks? And you always hear the politicians, we're going to prosecute them. Have you ever heard about a prosecution? Ever? Okay. No, they don't go after that. They scream and yell and blow their horn, and they don't go after anybody like that. I mean, the only one I can ever think about is that's ever happened was those two brothers or whatever that tried to buy up a whole bunch of masks uh, or was it hand sanitizer? That's what they bought up. And then they were trying to sell it at a profit and they got busted. That's about it. Okay. And they lost their ass too, because then nobody bought the hand sanitizer, but get ahead of the game. Okay. So point, hopefully point taken. And you guys are on the ball for this one. Now, in the interest of trying to help, was talking to Elliot this morning over at Wellbots, and we are going to try to help somebody again here with a little bit of winter electricity. Uh, they are starting their Black Friday prices early. I will link all of them below. They are some ridiculously good prices. I mean, a Delta II, the 1300 watt upgraded one, 649 bucks. Okay, that's $200 cheaper, 25% cheaper than we were buying them a year and a half ago. Uh, you can get the extra battery to it. They've got a deal on the Delta II. Uh, the Delta Pro, the big one I've got, I mean, right now, you can buy that for $2,400. I think I bought mine at $3,200. Okay, so what are we talking about? Another 33% cheaper than they were a year ago? Yeah, worthwhile if you can afford it to start building on this. The prices have come down drastically. You know, more competition in the market, which is good. And of course, the technology is getting quicker and like anything else, you know, the longer it's out, the prices come down. It's good. So now you have an advantage if you haven't jumped on some of this before to jump on now. Or if you're still working on building a system, like I told you, it took us two and a half years to build our system. Here's a chance to get something at a discount. We also have a coupon code that will be below that you can use on any of their products. All right. So get yourself an extra 50 bucks off. Not a big deal. As per normal, we're going to give one away. We are going to give away a Delta II plus the extra battery. Okay. So a thousand dollar prize here uh, to a winner here. And this will be open to anybody in the United States, all 50 of them. Okay. And in order to enter, you will need to add, you will need to put the state in which you live in, of course, and we will put down, hmm, what do I want to do? Uh, 
Wow, can never think of a good one. All right, how about this one? Uh, time to pay up the pony here. Name something that you are short in your winter preps on that is on your list to get before winter hits or to give as a Christmas present to somebody. And whether or not it's a snowblower, a snow shovel, a scarf, I don't care, but some sort of winter accessory that you need, that you don't have, that you intend on getting to add to your supplies. Okay. <clears throat> so we will do that. We'll do the giveaway tomorrow night, which is Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, like always, 7 Central, 6 Mountain, 5 Pacific. It is must be present to win. You will need to be there. And as per normal, we will do the drawing live. Uh, person will have three minutes to reply. They are there. So if you're interested in picking up an EcoFlow product, all the links will be below. If you're interested in winning one, follow the directions, and we'll see you tomorrow. Pinball out.